We have studied the different aspects of the cell structure in animals and plants, especially in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells, we have seen that the cells are of uh, having the membrane bound, like in nucleus or everywhere you have found that the cells are in the membrane bound. Now we will study diversity in cells. It is important to note that all cells are not identical. I am again repeating that all cells are not identical. The similarities do exist in most of the cells in its basic structure like there are the similarities in the presence of nucleus, presence of mitochondria or presence of plasma membrane. These things are there. Similarities do exist in almost all the eukaryotic cells but all cells are not identical. No, this, why these cells are not identical? Uh, have you ever wondered why? Because the cells are performing different types of tasks in different type of environment. Like in the body, we have seen that certain cells like I am drawing here the photograph uh, drawing of a nerve cell I am trying to draw. That drawing is not so good. But it is a nerve cell, it is having a long dendron like a structure you know, known as the dendrites and the axon and this is the, the, the thing which are shown here, like here, this is the nucleus and these, these are the long axis, it's the longest cell in the body. This is a very specialized uh, cell, the shape of the cell is very different, like in the egg cell of a bird you are finding that it is very different in the sperm cells in the man it is found different so the cells are different as per their functional requirement like you just you have seen that the cells which are present in the nerve cell the nerve cells which are functioning as for the transmission of the nerve impulse from one place to another in our body it is very much different from the cells which are present in the kidney like nephron or in the digestive system or in the respiratory system or in the eye, the rods and cones, the cells are very different. So based on their functional requirement, the cells differ. So this difference, the functional requirement of the cells, you can say that there is a division of labor in our body and the cells are modified accordingly. The allotment of functions among cell groups is called division of labor. So again the two basic concepts we have seen that they are not identical and they are division of labor. Here I am telling that there is different type of sizes also like the smallest cell, this is the PPL of pleuronemonia like organism. This pleuronemonia like organism, they are the smallest cell, they are so, cells usually are seen by the microscope, they are so small, the shape which I am drawing here, the shapes are very different here no they are very small and seen in the in the electron microscope these are the smallest cell so this question is sometimes being asked which is the smallest cell then it is the pplo pleuronemonia like organelles but there are certain cells which are very big now have you seen that the egg of ostrich is the biggest cell in the animal o s t r i c h no ostrich so in the diversity in cells, the chapter which are going to study, this is the egg of ostrich. You just see a human hand is there in comparison to the hand, normal hand. How big is the egg of ostrich? I am showing you here the photograph, trying to show you the photograph of egg and its hen uh, of egg of the ostrich and the ostrich is there in the background and a man is collecting the eggs. So this is the biggest cell. No? And in the same in the plant, see this acetabularia, this is the photograph which is being shown here, the acetabularia, it is the largest plant cell. So now I have told you two things, the largest plant cells are acetabularia and the largest animal cell is the hen, uh, sorry, egg of the ostrich. And what is the smallest? It was the PPLO pleuronemonia like organism. So these two things you have just read. Now I am trying to show you that what is the magnitude, how can you measure 
that what is the size of the shell you know that 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter no the shell size is shown in the microns so 1 meter is 100 centimeter and 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter no so in fact but these shells can be seen in a microscope no the robot hook was the first to have seen the shell who named the word shell first time no that is he saw the shell in the simple microscope this was the simple microscope on which he could see only the shell walls like a structure on the cork no but there are certain microscopes like compound microscope they can see more detail of the shell in this the plasma lemma nucleus can be seen and electronic microscope the PPLO could be seen here this is the photograph of PPLO it is on the electronic microscope no so I am just to try to understand the magnitude that is it is 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter no sorry it is not 100 millimeter it will be 10 millimeter no 10 millimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 1 centimeter you turn to the power minus 2 meter no and uh, 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micron I have told you that shells are usually measured in the micron it is 10 to the power minus 3 meter and at in the same way the 1 micron is equal to 0 0.001 millimeter is means 10 to the power minus 6 meter so these are the different magnitude by which shells are being measured and these are the dimension of the shell this you have understood now I am telling you the shape of the shell shell shape of the shell as I have told you earlier that there are as per their functional requirement the shells differ in their shape size and content like I have, I have drawn you earlier now again I am drawing you with not no good drawing of this is the nerve shells no nerve shells are very specialized structure very longest structure in our body this is the uh, dendrite on which the swan shells are there and this action is this this this, this is known as action this one is action and these are the dendrites so this is the soma the body the dendrite like structures are there in the same way the spawn shells this is having the, this type of structure jet like arrow like structure the body i am drawing here and here is the uh, tail part of that and this is this is the this is the sperm sperm shell this sperm shell or this uh, shape, shape of the shells like the nerve shells these are very uh, different and specialized type of structures no? what i have drawn here this is the plant shell plant shell should draw in green color and these are having the vacuole like a structure and nucleus is there and here it is the animal shell the plants in animal shell differences you know so the shape of the shells they are different and like just i am trying to draw the red blood corpuscles the red blood why this is known as corpuscles why it is known as shells where red blood corpuscles are having the saucer shaped and they are lacking nucleus and uh, the different types of uh, structures uh, shape of the shells are there but shape of most of the shells remain unchanged to all through their existence all through their existence the shape of the shells remain distinct they remain constant however some shells like those of amoeba or white blood corpuscles they continuously change their shape the shape of the shells make it convenient for it to functional this is as per their functional requirement the shape of the shells as a nerve shell has like has to convey the messages so it is having it is it is very long and it is a thread like projection what i was telling that the amoeba and wc white blood corpuscles their shapes are continuously changing but in most of the cases the shape of the shells remain unchanged so again i am repeating it that in the diversity of shells chapter the shape of the shells make it convenient for it to function okay